had a rough night's sleep last night. It rained on us while we were in our hammocks and we had to go sleep in the bathroom up there. We'll get, we're ashamed of that and so we're not really gonna do a whole lot of a segment on that. It was cold. Our hammocks are soaking wet. Soaked. We didn't get to sleep in them last night because why we forgot the rain fly. Thank you for making coffee today, man. It was my pleasure. So we're getting our stuff all packed up. We have called in for the shuttle. Uh, the shuttle is going to port our truck back to us. Get back here. Go now. And this is good timing because all of the Friday night family puppy campers have arrived. Farewell to you state parkers. It was an awesome night. Hopefully we'll see each other again. Trail Angel, magic. See you guys. Thank now we're gonna spread good. that magic over to these guys. We're gonna drive them a mile up the road and get them back on the trail as well. And cart them down. Where are we heading to? The trailhead? Yeah, about a mile up the road. About a mile. We're half a day behind and that's not gonna exactly catch us up, but it's gonna help. We're gonna write a patent on this real soon. It's called the, the bungee bottle keeper. <laughs> yeah. You know the, the hardest part of any hiking trip is taking your pack on the road. Oh no kidding. Thanks. Take it easy guys. We'll see you on the other side. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're driving out of this park and we had to stop and take a look at this beautiful view. I'll do a little zoom for you. That's Northwest Arkansas, folks. That is what we just hiked through, and that is what we just camped in. We have a week left. Let's go see what kind of damage we can do. I hope she's using her turn signal. That's where we've landed. I know we're just ready to clean ourselves. We haven't had a bath in a few days and we stink. We've been hiking trails. Whew. We slept in the rain last night. I haven't stayed in a Holiday Inn in a long time. This will be fun. It's time to get back on the road now. That's right. We've had enough television and soft, comfortable bed with coffee and orange juice and complimentary breakfast. We've had enough of all that mess. We're going back into nature. So there you go, that was the Natural Bridge of Arkansas. Now we're looking forward to getting back on Highway 65, headed north, and trying to find us a quality camp spot tonight. We're not gonna let the burn ban affect us. We're gonna realize that it's probably gonna be in effect all over the state. So we're in for a cold night. This means we get to stop somewhere and buy some gloves. Because we're state parkers and we forgot to buy them in Austin. Then again, in Austin, you don't need them yet. <laughs> And there it is, Hudson Supermarket. Okay, cooler stocked. Now it's time for some Chinese buffet. We are on Baxter County 9. 
somewhere in Arkansas. That's that's about that's all I can tell you. We have options. I don't know, should we go with that one? Should we go with that one? Or should we go with that one? Or that one? I like where the fire pit is on this one. Way to go. Melody in her little North Face jacket, keeping her warm, has our marmot tent nice and set up, ready to go. Found this large piece of pre-chopped wood. It's pretty rotten. It was really lightweight. I put it in the fire pit and flipped it over and saw that. This poor black widow is trying to figure out what to do. We're burning his house and uh, I don't know what to do with him. I guess we could transport him somewhere but uh, he doesn't look too happy. See, Melody's gonna try to transport him. Come on up here. There you go. Oh. No. Oh well. We lost him. Let's hope he doesn't crawl up our legs later. Thank us for trying to help him. All the way across the lake, we have a situation. We've got a killer fire going. We hiked through a little bit of poison ivy to get to that to get some of that wood. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got this interesting view of what seems to be a resort across the way. And uh, it's just, we couldn't have found a better spot tonight. We were tired of driving for, for sure. This is one of the few nights that we have had a glimpse of the moon. It was a new moon on the 12th and it's gone through the stages ever since then. But tonight, there it is. You can almost see the little guy from DreamWorks sitting right on the end of that sucker. For dinner tonight, We'll be having seasoned steak fingers. And. And. Bacon wrapped asparagus. Bacon wrapped asparagus. So we're down to the last bit of coals. And you know what that means. That means we had a long day of driving, but it was a nice, nice drive. Finally found ourselves a campground. Was lucky enough to be the only ones here on this awesome, beautiful, gorgeous lake. Time to say goodnight. You know what we're doing tomorrow? <laughs> we don't either. But until then. <laughs>